I'm a citizen journalist Chan Yang, and I'm from Penang. With me today here is Ike uh, Roslan Wilkinson, who is the CEO of uh, Yayasan Puan Ku Nor Zahidah. Okay, Roslan, thank you for spending time with us. Um, can you explain to us what is this uh, Songket uh, project? Well, the Songket project first came about was the brainchild of Her Majesty Supreme Leader Yaptong 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 uh, um, was to save the Songket industry. Uh, basically, the, the, there were three, three key points. The first was to improve lives of the um, underprivileged because we found out that the uh, Songket weavers were earning a meager income, so they needed help uh, in, in improving their livelihoods. And two was to save an, an indigenous craft because Songket was dying if not dead. Um, and three was to, it had potential for growth and sustainability. So what we, uh, what the what Her Majesty and the Board of Trustees put together was the Songket project, was to take Songket um, to another level. So, so hence, with Yayasan, um, the first brand, so to speak, first baby is Royal Trungganu Songket. And uh, Royal Trungganu Songket is uh, basically not created to compete with uh, existing Songket manufacturers, but to take Songket to another level. Weavers are handpicked by the Yayasan and they get a salary or do they earn a commission from their handwork? Um, what we've done is we've actually paid to train. So um, when we, we actually hired 40 girls in uh, Trunganu and 20 in Sarawak because we've, we've uh, put together uh, the Sarawak weaving techniques with the, the Songket weaving techniques, which is very similar actually when you think about it. Um, we pay and train the girls. I believe most of them are talented uh, as because they are from Tijuana, because they are born there. They have that, that talent, am yes. I correct? Because yes. I see when they do it, it's very intricate. Yes, it's, it's a lot. Of, it's, it's very, what Malay say? They may take me, you know? <laughs> It's a, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of work. It, it takes, it takes a, it, it, you know, a lot of patience. And one piece can easily take up to a month to complete. So, so this is why the Yayasan, well, let me, let me reiterate further, um, was, it was the single mother's project. Because we realized there's, a, there's an area in um, Chugano called Kampong Pasir Panjang, um, where there are about 18 to 25 women who are single mothers, you know, the husbands have passed away, or it's so get moving. And they, they underprivileged women, um, and they only earn by product. So, so if they finish one something, for example, um, it could be anything between uh, 70 ringgit per piece, or 150 ringgit per piece, most expensive 250 ringgit per piece. And that's where they earn for months. That's just below the poverty line, you know. Yeah. So, so this is why the Yaisan is there, um, to help these women. So, so what we do is, um, I personally go in and handpick the pieces myself and buy up their stock. You know, it's <laughs> slightly inflated prices, but just to help them. You know? uh, this is where, where, where we are, one of our strengths at the moment, is to help the, the So the at women. the moment, what is the average income, if you can reveal, how much are they earning per month? For the well, at the moment, um, we've created at least minimum, we try as minimum, very hard to give them at least a minimum of about 650 to 700. And I believe it's the empowerment of them having a proper job with yes. recognition. It, it helps yeah, them. It helps. It is, it's a motivation program as well. You know, and also we've uh, managed to get some state funding. Um, state funding and, and certain schemes uh, uh, with, with, you know, pembangunan wanita, things like that, um, from various government bodies which has helped us tremendously. Um, each girl also gets a grant of about 300 ringgit on top of what we pay them from the government. So with Royal Trungganu Songket, we try to take it a step further. Uh, we're not here to reinvent the wheel. It's already, the business model is already there, you know. Um, so, so we take it a step further by, by creating byproducts, sarong and short sets. And, uh, you know, to take it, that's the fashion bit. So the byproducts will be handbags, uh, picture frames, you name it, you can, the sky's the limit. So, so, so I'm appealing actually yeah. anyone out there. Um, if you have a product idea, please let us know. We are we are all ears. So, so <laughs> you are also into the international market, especially the fashion industry. The fashion. 
the industry, the shawls as well, um, have, have been quite successful actually. Uh, we recently had something in Harrods in London and the shawl, the shawl was proven proved to be a good good seller. Yeah, um, a very ethnic look of it. Yes, um, and what better place to be in Harrods because it has such international appeal. And so the traffic, the customer traffic that goes through Harrods is not predominantly the locals. All tourists must do Harrods, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how does this Traders Hotel come into the picture with uh, Yaya? Oh, I, I'd like to thank Traders Hotel uh, from, the, from the bottom of my heart for involving us in this CSR program. Uh, CSR fair. Um, without them, um, it's just to create aware awareness of, of corporate social responsibilities where we can help the underprivileged. You know, so, so I thank you very much, Traders Hotel, for, for allowing us to be part of it. So Mr. Carl Carlson, the GM here, um, has, has a lot of ideas and, and uh, we're looking forward to doing a lot of collaboration with, with the Shangri La Traders Hotel. Yeah, group. I believe it will provide the ethnic feel of their five stars uh, resorts yeah, and so on. Yeah, and yeah. I see a very so, big potential. Absolutely, there. there's so much to do. I mean, you know, hopefully we can get little items into their stores or, you know, we have, we've come up with a, we've come up with a Soket Revolution book, mm -hmm. taking, taking Soket to another step, a step further. Um, so the book itself is, is uh, you know, it's a beautiful, wonderful book. I've had comments, people saying that, oh, I, pe I, people thought it was from, from a foreign foreign press, but no, it's 100% Malaysian. Who, who actually is the author of the book? Um, we, we commissioned a lady called Dante Naslina Yunus, um, who has done various coffee, uh, coffee table books before in the past. Uh, pro prolific writer, very, very good. Um, but of course, the products and stuff like that was all uh, is ours. Uh. Um, so we have also have uh, done tie up with uh, fashion designers as well. So as you can see, some pieces around here in the room. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so it's a lot of collaboration that we do. So we're open to ideas. We are, you know, we all yes. Has, if anyone's got any ideas out there, let us know. <laughs> I actually like this whole idea because it's all about empowering people, giving people a, a place in the society and contributing in their own way. So I'm very glad that you know I'm able to meet up with lovely, lovely. you and also uh, my pleasure. Yeah, and uh, as citizen journalists, our duty is actually to report what we see. And unlike mainstream media, our news is about people, about the underprivileged mm. and so on. So this, this comes to me when it says you are actually hiring single mothers and so on. So it fits into our focus wonderful, very wonderful. well. Yeah. This will be gelling so, well, yeah. yeah. So. Wonderful, thank you. I mean, we need all the support we can get. It's basically creating awareness, is what, what it is. Um, a lot of Malaysians are uh, not aware of, of, of how how these craftsmen are actually very very poor, very very poor. So you know we need every support we can get. Yeah, because normally what we see <laughs> is just a piece of cloth, but now that you tell me about these single mothers and them getting a job, it suddenly it's become an industry about something of the community. Yes. I mean the community and how we can contribute yes, by Absolutely. highlighting it and those who can afford can buy it. Yes, please. And wear it. Don't buy don't buy foreign, buy Malaysian, you know what I mean? <laughs> My pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Anytime. Here I would like to express our thanks to Mr. Carl Carson, the general manager, and Miss Elaine Chong, the communication manager of Traders Hotel, for giving Citizen Journalism Malaysia the opportunity to document this event.